So I tell you what, 2K really did drop some fire. Because yes, we are doing another pack opening. And I'm quite excited because recently our pack luck has actually been quite good. I probably just jinxed it. But 2K did release these splash zone packs and they look fire first of all. I actually love the pack art just because it looks so different to ones we had in the past. It kind of gives me like SpongeBob SquarePants vibes. I don't know. But yeah, basically we have the packs which obviously contain some insane players. And um, I guess let's go through those players. So firstly, of course, we do have some pink diamonds. Diamonds. These are pretty boring to be honest, but then we get to the Galaxy Opals. We have a Kevin Porter Jr., a uh, Tyrese Halliburton, who's going to be one of the best Opals in the game. Chris Bosch, who I don't really care about, a Tyler Hero though. But now it's time for the Dark Matters. Because yes, we have a Dark Matter, Chris Webber, a Jeremy Lin, a Michael Porter Jr., and also a Zach Levine. I think the Zach Levine is going to be a beast. But now it's time for the Invincible cards. First things first, we have an Invincible Giannis for like our 3,000th Giannis this year. Then we also have a Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Derek Rose, and finally, the best one in my opinion being Shaquille O'Neal. But I'm really excited too because once you complete the set, so once you get every card excluding the invincible players, you can actually lock it in and get an invincible Bowl Bowl. Like, you heard me right, Bowl Bowl. And I love Bowl Bowl this year, so I need the Dark Matter version, especially because it's the invincible card. Anyway, to get some of these cards, what we're going to have to do is open up some packs. You guys know how Shaq is number 34. Well, if we times 34 by 100, you know what that gives us? 3,400. And let's just see if we can get 3,400 likes on this pack opening because I know we can do it. Anyway, let's get into this first box. It's kind of funny because I know you guys can do that. And the reason I say that is because my past Lamella's Legacy posts, videos have done so well. It's actually crazy. And we're going to see guaranteed pink diamonds. So that's not really what we want to see. Who's this one? Number four shooting guard. Is this going to be JJ Redick? It looks like it. But as I said, we don't care about pink diamonds. Anyway, now for number two. Of course, another shake and another pink diamond. We don't care. It's Marvin Bagley. The one thing I find kind of crazy now is the fact that we kind of want to see shakes gone for everything below a Galaxy Opal. So we do get our first Galaxy Opal here. I really don't think these are going to go for too much. I feel like Tyrese will be the one that goes for the most. So 98 overall, number four. That means what? It's going to be Chris Bosch. He has a dark matter that goes for like 70k. So I don't think the opal is going to go for much at all. But yeah, how weird is that? We used to have shakes for amethyst. And now I don't even want them for pink diamonds because it's the worst thing out of these packs. This looks like a new play as well. This one's going to be Matisse Thibault. And I was so surprised. He's actually in the Australian squad. I don't know if that just shows that my NBA knowledge isn't good at all. But we get a dark matter just like that. I love seeing it in the middle. I absolutely love seeing it in the middle. I need this to be an invincible card. I need it to be an invincible card. So let's flip it and let's hope for, I guess, maybe Shaq. I'm hoping for Shaq. We want to see Western Conference. It's Eastern, 99 overall, number 17. That means it's going to be Jeremy Lin. I think this is definitely going to be the cheapest one. So not the happiest, but still, it's a dark matter. I can't complain. The thing is, that's one card that we needed to be able to get my boy. Bowl Bowl, baby. Do these packs have good pack odds? I, I don't know. We pulled a dark matter in five packs, but really, you can't keep that same momentum all the time. I'm really not sure. I so forgot Jeremy Lin was in these packs. I thought it was going to be so much better as this one is going to be Bagley again. But yeah, if you didn't see the other day, I posted it on my TikTok and also on my Twitter. But just randomly, I decided to open up a 10-pack box of the Idols packs when they came out. Didn't record it and because I didn't expect to get anything as this one is going to be Matisse Thibault once again. So how good? But I actually did pull my first Invincible card and it was Dirk. So I was more than happy about that because I do want to complete that Idols set. Another Matisse. Because if you don't know the collection, Extra reward for that is actually Dark Matter Invincible Nikola Jokic as, again, we get a pink diamond. Also, that Jokic can play point guard, so he looks insane. How many thigh balls? I mean, I can't really complain. As yes, we did get a Dark Matter in this box. I personally think, though, it is going to be the worst one. We get another Galaxy Opal, so that's two Galaxy Opals, one Dark Matter, and what, seven pink diamonds in this box? I'd say that's pretty good odds for the first box, and this one is going to be number 14, so that looks like it's going to be Tyler Hero, who I love seeing in these packs. So, Splash Zone Tyler Hero, I'll take it. So after one box, we got six of the players. So I'm not actually complaining with that. That's pretty good. Hopefully we can add some more to try and get this ball ball in this pack opening though. I really don't think that's going to happen, but we're going to need to open up quite a few more packs and also get some pretty good luck. I really want to pull an Invincible card this video too, because I haven't actually pulled one in a YouTube video. So it's time. Not really with a pink diamond right there. Number two. 
is some pink diamond. Marvin. Yo, one thing that I also just saw is the fact that Invincible Tracy McGrady is on the Triple Threat online board. So that's crazy. Marvin. We'll be sure to look at it after with this box, but really this box is looking quite boring so far with just pink diamonds to start it out. Matisse. How weird is it now that the fact that you get disappointed when you see a pink diamond? Like I look at that and I go, that's a trash pack. It's so weird. I remember pulling packs wishing to get a pink diamond and now we're wishing not to get one. The funny part is though, is with these packs that you guys know how, you know, having a collection reward actually adds more value as yes, we do get a galaxy Opal right there. So that's good. But if you remember the showtime set from last year, basically what happened is we actually opened up the packs, you know, got the players and realized that Kareem, the goat card was the reward. Then the price of that Rashad Lewis was so low at the four hour mark of him coming out, which was the weirdest thing ever. I think he was going for like 400K. But then when people realized that the set was going to be so cheap, he just skyrocketed in price to about 1 million MT. So I feel like with this set out today, I think that might happen again. Because out of all the cards, Zach Levine looks really good, but there's like cards that you kind of look at and go, I mean, they look good, but is there really a card there that you think is worth 400K or something? I don't think so. So personally, I think there's going to be a random card that's not going to have the best odds of pulling. That's just going to be so high in price. That's my opinion. Just because I seriously think out of all the invincible cards today, people probably want that ball ball the most. I, I think I'm one of those people too. Did I finally get a new player? How have I pulled every pink diamond except this is my first time getting on Yekka? At least we got a new card out of this box. I guess that's a good thing. And we're getting another Galaxy Opal. So who's the Galaxy Opal we haven't pulled? I can't even remember. But let's get through it and see who it's going to be. Eastern Conference, 98 overall. Number four, it's another... No, it's not Chris Bosch. This is Kevin Porter Jr. Okay, we ended off with two new players. I'm happy with that. Two new players every box. That's a dub. Literally look at this. So look at these triple threat boards. There's a chance of getting Opal T-Mac in the second little section. Then in the final section, you can get the Invincible version, also the normal version, and Jordan Clarkson and Julius Randle. That's crazy. I need to play this a lot on the budget squad. Anyway, this video is just based around us opening packs. So let's do another box. Come on, we've pulled one Dark Matter so far. One Dark Matter out of this, not the best to be honest, especially because it was only Jeremy Lin. Maybe Jeremy Lin's gonna be the one that's gonna be expensive. I really don't think so. Can we see a better box than the last one? We're literally getting it, just pink diamonds in the middle. Number three. Whoa, we got a dark battle. Let's go, baby. That's exactly what we wanna see. So much better because three, two, one, bam. There's the dark matter once again. We need to see a better one than Jeremy Lin. We don't want to see number 17, I'm pretty sure. We want to see an invincible card. Let's go through and see. It's Western Conference, so it's not Jeremy Lin. It's number 34. Oh, no. That's Shaq. That's Shaq. Let's go. I forgot. I thought that was Giannis for a second. This is the best one, I'm pretty sure. Let's go. We just pulled Shaq. Uh-huh. Bang your chest. Bang your chest. Because we deserve the diesel. We deserve this man. I can't believe we actually just got that. Oh, my word. I so forgot. I I thought that it was Giannis, but then I realized Giannis isn't in the Western Conference. So then it just clicked that it was Shaq. And now I'm so happy. Let's go. Oh my word. I can't believe that's my invincible pull. I know I said that I pulled Dirk before, but I'm counting that as my first invincible pull because it's on camera. You guys can see it's all real. I feel like that was such a bad reaction, but I'm so happy about it as we do get a Galaxy Opal in this box too. So it seems like every second box so far is the good box. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. But 98 overall, number 14, another Tyler Hero. So not going to complain about that. The more Galaxy Opals, the better. But I want to see more Invincible cards now. Especially because that one was by far the best one. At least I'm pretty sure. Do you reckon that Shaq's the best one? I think so. We got Marvin. I seriously haven't been doing as many gameplays this year, but I do really want to do a Shaq gameplay and also a Bol Bol gameplay. As we get Zion, so you know when we get Zion, it's a good box. And I tell you what, it was. It's JJ. But we still have two more packs after this one in this box. So no shake, no good shake there, but it is a Galaxy Opal once again. I'm pretty sure I've pulled all the Galaxy Opals, so it's not too much more to get, but this one is going to be another Kevin Porter Jr. Pretty good card, actually. I remember his Dark Matter came out. I'm pretty sure I pulled it too, but we'll take it because I think he's a six foot five point guard. So definitely pretty good there. Another pink diamond, not what we want. And now for the final pack of this fire box, we are ending off with just another pink diamond, but 
I am not complaining at all about that. I can't end on that box. I'm doing another. And if I don't get a Dark Matter in this box, I'm giving up. That's right. I'm not going to do any more packs if I don't get a Dark Matter. Is that a good idea? I think it is because we've definitely won on this pack opening so far. So starting off with the Galaxy Opal, definitely a good start. Again, I think I have every single one. So not really going to care about who this is. But it is going to be, looks like, another yeah, Kevin Porter Jr. A little bit weird how many of this card we're getting, but especially because I thought he was like one of the rarest, but still. I wonder who the most expensive card out of today's set's gonna be. I know I've been thinking about that a lot, but I seriously do like question it because is it gonna be like Shaq, the invincible card? Is it gonna be Zach Levine because people wanna get that what's his face? I, I don't know, but this one's another Tyler, Tyler Hero. So um, I can be your hero, baby, if you give me another Dark Matter. What do we think? If I ask nicely, do we receive? Um, nope, we get another Pink Diamond. Not what we want. Dark Matter or bust. Dark Matter or bust. Pink Diamond, that's a bust. Especially because we just got Michael Porter Jr. who has a Dark Matter as well. And we're now midway through this box and, okay, trash. Six is trash again. Literally, they need to allow us to skip the animation as for what player we're getting because you ready how long this takes? Like, why can I not just press X to skip this? You know, every single time when I cut the video, I literally just go to my phone, check Twitter, because this is how long the animation takes every single time. We did get the rarest pink diamond out of them all. We've only pulled this card twice. So, and Yaka, hello. Yeah, it just takes so long. So number eight, Dark Matter. Nope. Okay, another pink diamond. Nine is fine. All the, okay, our third time getting him now. And final pack of this box. We get a shake and it's another Galaxy Opal. So we're ending this box the way we started. But you guys know how I said every second box looks good. Maybe that means I have to do another one. This is a new player. This is Tyrese Halliburton. Okay, I fully forgot that this card was here. So we did actually get a new player from this box. That's all I wanted. Yeah, let's do it. Another box. One is pink diamond okay two is uh galaxy opal maybe we're just on the way up we started with a pink diamond then a galaxy opal now hopefully a dark matter another chris bosh three this is the one i thought was going to be a dark matter it's not four million omi j z that's a pink diamond that's not all we want to see maybe this was a bad option maybe it ended the streak i really don't know it's certainly looking like it i mean six yep that is Bad. Seven is a shake and another pink diamond. Eight is a shake and it's another galaxy opal. Maybe number nine is going to be fine with the dark matter. We'll have to see this time. Why do I just rhyme every time I speak? I don't know. It's Tyrese once again. I feel like Tyrese is going to be by far the most expensive one. So I'm definitely going to take that. But we need to see a dark matter this box or else I'm seriously going to regret it. And I was right. Number nine was fine all the time with this rhyme with the dark matter in the middle. Let's see who it's going to be, please be one of the best ones. It is Eastern Conference, 9-9 overall. No, that's another Jeremy Lin. How weird is it, the fact that we don't get excited about a Dark Matter when we see it's Jeremy Lin? I don't know how much he's going to go for, though. That's got to be a buy now card for sure. But anyway, we got a Dark Matter that box, so maybe my ritual is true. Every second box is good. I don't know. You know me, we got to finish off with an MT pack. Just a single, and let's see how this goes for 17,250. We got another Dark Matter in the single. What? Okay, I did not expect that. So let's see who this one's going to be. What are the chances of that? I don't even know. Western Conference, that's what we want to see. Number four, who's that? Power forward. That's going to be Chris. Weber. So it is a new player. Another one we needed for Bol Bol. I'm not complaining at all about that. Yo, I'm so glad I do my MT single. What a win. I tell you what, there's no way I'm ending on that. Another one. Actually, if I went back to back in the singles, it's not going to happen though, but wow, I thought that was actually one. I got to do another. Until I get a pink diamond, I'm doing these packs. And it's Tyler. Next. The singles might be the go. I'm not sure. Okay, we got a pink diamond. So that's going to be the end as we're ending the way we started with JJ ready. And I tell you what, what a pack opening it was because all we need is just Michael Porter Jr. and Zach Levine to be able to lock this set in and get Invincible Bobo. But the most important thing is we actually pulled this Invincible Shaquille O'Neal. So I for sure want to get a gameplay out with this card. So be sure to smash that like button if you want to see that. And I also want to get a gameplay with Invincible Bobo. So... It's going to be a big day for your boy, but I believe in myself. I think I can finally do it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you new, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. This pack opening was definitely a dub, if not the best of the year for me. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Thank you guys for watching, and I guess I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.